Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video of Study IQ, I will bring to you set 19 of the Railway Special Current Affair. These current affairs will be very useful in other exams also which are not of railways. So let's start the video. This video will be in English language. Please note Study IQ has some of the finest pen drive Android and tablet courses. Do check out our website studyiq.com if you want to take advantage of our sale also. You can follow me on social media now. My ID is tireless soul on Instagram and on Facebook it is facebook.com slash Which police station got the first rank in the list of top 10 performing police stations across the country released by our union minister Rajnath Singh. So the Ministry of Home Affairs released the list of 10 best police stations in India and number one is Kalu. Kalu police station is in Bikaner in Rajasthan. Clear? And the second best was Campbellway. So Campbell Bay is the second best police station in India. It is in Andaman Nicobar. Third best is Farakka in West Bengal. So remember the best police station in India is Kalu police station. Name the late Pakistan lawyer and human rights activist who was awarded with the UN Human Rights Prize for 2018. Her name is Asma Jahangir. Asma Jahangir won the UN Human Rights Prize. Patanjali's first herbal forest project was inaugurated in which of the following villages of Haryana? The village is called Morni. And Morni village is in Panchkula, Panchkula, Haryana. It is a joint effort. This first herbal forest is a joint effort by the government of Haryana and Patanjali. The Department of Posts. It has recently released the commemorative postage stamp on which leader who was associated with Champaran Satyagraha. Champaran Satyagraha was actually the first Satyagraha undertaken by Gandhiji. And uh, this particular stalwart was a part of the Champaran Satyagraha. His name is Rajkumar Shukla. On him, a postage stamp was released recently. Which state has launched Siksha Setu? It is basically a mobile app to ensure better connectivity with the college students, but also with the parents of the students. And with the help of this mobile app Siksha Setu, the school or the college will be able to, even the government, the Ministry of HRD at the local level in the state will be able to dispense any information they want to the parents, right? And it will also have other features like uh, attendance and students will... Uh, you know the parents of the students will be able to see their child's attendance marks etc on this mobile lab it has been done by the government of Haryana India's largest cancer institute which is called the National Cancer Institute it was inaugurated in which state it was inaugurated in the campus of Ames which is in Jhajjar there is a place there is a district called Jhajjar it is in Haryana also remember two new Ames are coming up one in Tamil Nadu in fact it has already been inaugurated in Madurai and the second one in Bibinagar. Bibinagar is in Telangana. On December 19, 2018, Goa celebrated its which liberation day? Goa was under Portugal occupation for a lot of time. And uh, it was the 57th liberation day of Goa on December 19, 2018. Remember, on 1st of uh, December, Nagaland celebrates its foundation day. 1st of December, Nagaland. What was the rank of India in the World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Index? Gender Gap Index shows the gap still that exists between men and women in a country, especially with respect to wages and social status, etc. In the Gender Gap Index, we are far behind 108. Iceland is number one. And remember, in Iceland, the gender gap is the lowest in the world, clear? which means men is equal to women. World Economic Forum is headquartered in a place called Colony. Colony is in Geneva and Geneva is in Switzerland. Sometimes you may not find the option colon in the options, then you have to mark Geneva. And who is the president of World Economic Forum? The president of World Economic Forum is an important question. His name is Klaus Schwab. K-L-A-U-S-S-S-C-H-W-A-B-B. -S 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 -B -B. Klaus Schwab. Pakistan released which Indian national from jail after six years? He was uh, kept in, in, you know, in jail for six years in Pakistan. His name was Hamid Nihal Ansari. Hamid Nihal Ansari. Silao Khaja. It is basically a sweet delicacy of which state. Recently, it got the geographical indication tag. Silao Khaja is eaten in mainly Rajgir, which is Nalanda district of Bihar. Bihar. Name the Nepal's two-time prime minister who passed away recently. He was a senior politician. His name was Tulsi Giri. Tulsi Giri passed away. Also recently, Girija Prasad Koirala. He was also a former Prime Minister of Nepal. He also passed away around two years back. India's which nuclear plant? India's which nuclear power plant has created the world record for continuous operation for 941 days? This nuclear power plant is Kaiga. And Kaiga nuclear power plant is in Karnataka. 
BARC stands for Bhabha Atomic Research Center. It is in Mumbai. And uh, Tarapur, Tarapur and Jaitapur. Tarapur and Jaitapur, they both are located in Maharashtra. The Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of two new aims in which two states of India. So one will come up in Madurai, one will come up in Bibinagar. Madurai is in Tamil Nadu, Bibinagar is in Telangana. So the answer is D, Tamil Nadu and Telangana. Who has written the book called Changing India? The book Changing India has been written by Manmohan Singh, former two times Prime Minister of India. India's first and world's which number railway university was inaugurated at Vadodara? It is India's first and world's third railway university. Before India, only two countries have it, Russia and China. So India is the third country in the world to have a full-fledged railway university. It was inaugurated at Vadodara in Gujarat. So the answer is third. Which state has become the first state in India to make a law against sextortion, which means sexual harassment at workplaces? Clear? When, when the females are asked for sexual favors for promotion, that is called sextortion. So the first state in India to make laws against it is Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir. The Asian Cricket Council, they have awarded the hosting rights of the 2020 Asia Cup to which country? In which country will the 2020 Asia Cup will be held? It will take place in Pakistan. Mount Soputan, it is a volcano lo located in which country? It's an active volcano which recently erupted also. It is located in Indonesia. Also one more you need to remember which is called Krakatau. It is also in Indonesia and one more Agung. A-G-U-N-G, -G, it is also in Indonesia. In Italy, you have two important uh, mountains. One is called Mount Etna and one is called Mount Vesuvius. Who had won the 2018 Miss Universe pageant? Miss Universe is Catriona Gray. She is Miss Philippines. She is from Philippines. Which country won the Men's Hockey World Cup? It took place in Odisha's capital Bhuvaneshwar in the Kalinga Stadium. India hosted it and it was won by Belgium. They defeated Netherlands in the final. Also the mascot was Oli, Oli the turtle. Oli Bradley turtle, Oli was the mascot for these games. Which country has replaced the images of their past presidents from newly minted notes, cash coins and replaced them with images of animals? This is to spread awareness about animal conservation. Clear? It has been done by Kenya. Kenya's capital is Nairobi. And Kenya is, Kenya's capital Nairobi is the headquarter of United Nations Environment Program. United Nations Environment Program. Clear? And who is the head of UNEP? Joyce Masuya. Joyce Masuya from Tanzania. From Tanzania. PV Sindhu, she became the first Indian to win gold medal in the Badminton World Federation. World Tour. Clear? Badminton, Badminton World Federation World Tour. She defeated which player? She defeated Nozomi Okuhara of Japan. She defeated Nozomi Okuhara from Japan. Another player from Japan that you need to remember, men's player, Kento Momota. Kento Momota. Virat Kohli, he became the second fastest player to score 25 test centuries. Second fastest means scoring in the least number of matches. But there was a player who scored even in the fewest. So Virat Kohli is the second fastest, but the fastest was Sir Donald Bradman from Australia. He scored 25 test centuries in the least number of matches. Who had won the Gyan Pate Award for 2018? Gyan Pate Award was given to Amitav Ghosh, the celebrated author Amitav Ghosh. Remember one of his books that can be asked in the exam. It is called The Great Derangement. It is about climate change. It is non-fiction book. The Great Derangement. Which of these states has started? Which of these states was awarded the Krishi Karman Award in the rice category? Krishi Karman Award is given to those states which does exceptional work, exceptional production for wheat, rice, etc. In the rice category, it was given to Jharkhand. Jharkhand. India's first private sector unit for manufacturing unmanned aerial vehicle was inaugurated in which city? Unmanned aerial vehicle, first factory is in Hyderabad. Also, IIT Hyderabad is the first IIT to start a B.Tech course in artificial intelligence. That also you need to remember. Which country has operationalized academic Lomonoso? It is the world's first floating nuclear power plant. Can nuclear power plant be floating? Yes, Russia has done it. So Russia uh, has started academic Lomonoso. It is the world's first floating nuclear power plant and it has become operational. Also, you need to remember some of the weapons, arms and ammunition making companies of the world. Lockheed Martin is American. Boeing, Raytheon, BAE system, all American. 
Boeing has given us recently Apache helicopter. Lockheed Martin, again very popular. Raytheon. BAE system gave us M777 Habitzer gun. Then there is another company called Northrop Grumman. General Dynamics. Airbus is a company based in France. Thales also in France. Dassault Aviation also in France. Leonardo in its Italian company and Alma Zante is a Russian company. So these are the top 10 defense companies of the world. Who has been appointed as the new president of the Film and Television Institute of India located in Pune? FTII, the old president was uh, Anupam Kher and the new one is Brijendra Pal Singh. American President Donald Trump has nominated which person as America's ambassador to United Nation? And he replaced Nikki Haley. His name is Heather Nort. Heather Nort. 115th Aga Khan Gold Cup Hockey Tournament was won by which team? Aga Khan is a very prestigious hockey tournament. This time it was won by Steel Authority of India Limited called Sale. It's a Maharatan company. They defeated Army 11 Danapur from Bihar in the final. Who was named as Time Magazine's Person of the Year? Time Magazine's Person of the Year is Jamal Khashoggi. Jamal Khashoggi is a journalist and he was killed on the orders of Saudi Arabia. Now remember Time Magazine was bought by Mark Benioff and Mark Benioff is the CEO of a company called Salesforce. He bought the Time Magazine for $190 million. First ever agriculture export policy of India is in play. The target is we should export, you know, we should export worth $60 billion of agricultural exports by which year? What is the target? The target is 2022, which is also the target by the government of India for doubling the farmer's income. Our agriculture minister is Radha Mohan Singh. Which country has become the permanent member of FATF? Financial Action Task Force, the purpose of which is to basically take action against countries if they don't stop terrorism financing. Israel is the new member of FATF. It is headquartered in the capital of France, France, which is Paris. Which country will grant visa on arrival to the Indian national? India will get visa on arrival from Myanmar and India, you know, the opposite, which means that the South Korean people will get visa on arrival in India. Clear? So visa on arrival for Indians will be given to Myanmar and visa on arrival to South Koreans will be given by India. Remember both, both are very important. Which country has opened its ambassadorial office or consulate in Gujarat to push the business ties? The country is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan capital is new, capital is Nur Sultan. It has opened their consulate in Gujarat recently. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of Swift India Board? Swift India Board new chairman is Arundhati Bhattacharya. She is the former chairman of the State Bank of India. Shi Yomi has become the 23rd district of which state? Shi Yomi is the 23rd district of Arunachal Pradesh and Leparada was 22nd and Pakke Kesang was 21st. These three new districts have been added to Arunachal Pradesh. Vanessa Ponce de Leon, she is the new Miss World. She is from which country? She is from Mexico. She won the 2018 Miss World crown. Now remember Catriona Gray. Catriona Gray of Philippines, she is the new Miss Universe. Which district court in India has become the first to accept e-payments? The first district court to start to accept e-payment is actually the Pune District Court. India's first underwater museum will be built in which place? It will be built in Pondicherry. India's first underwater museum. India's first music museum will come up in Tamil Nadu. India's first insect museum will come up in Coimbatore, again in Tamil Nadu. And in Tamil Nadu, the arrow turmeric has recently got the geographical indicator tag also. And India's first spider museum recently came up in Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh. Shahapur Kandi Dam project will be built on which river? The river is called Ravi. It is a joint project between the Punjab and Jammu Kashmir government. So this was the video, Railway Part 19. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, check out our paid pen drive courses on our website studyiq.com. And now you can follow me on social media also. This is my Facebook ID and this is my Instagram ID. I will see you very soon in Part 20. Thank you so much. And